everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing one week, which was this past week, the very last week of May, May was a good month, of the Golden Gap system using options. Okay, it was a 93% win ratio, 14 trades called, one loser, um, and $72,140 in advanced trader profit. Now, I'm gonna go over how much was risk for that. I'm gonna go over the uh, the amount of money that you would have needed to take the trades. I'm going to go over the trades themselves. I'm gonna go over the charts and I'm gonna go over the return on investment that you would have had for the this profit of 72 grand. So the long and short of it is that my system can be used for any amount of money that you wanna risk as long as you can actively trade, okay? So you have to have an options account set up. Now what's the minimum requirement to open up an options account? $2,000 but you would have to risk more than that in order to achieve these results in one week, just so you know. So say you can only risk $100 per trade, and that's what it is, all right? So I did do a second video that is online on my YouTube channel for the beginner trader, and also now I'm doing the advanced trader because I want people to see what they can do, what they can afford. I want people to see the what they can achieve, okay? That's number one, and number two, I also want people to know that, that when they're starting out, um, they have the potential to, to make this kind of money. And a lot of it has to do with understanding the system and following along the trades, learning how to read the charts correctly, and not only that, really having the confidence and conviction. And that comes from being green. So, so when you're doing the trades, booking money is important because green, 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 and it matters. I mean, it helps your confidence to take the trades and do them. You can watch me on Fox Business and Fox News and CBS as well. And if you'd like any questions or want to sign up for my services, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So all of these trades are based on my one Golden Gap strategy. Okay, it's a class I teach once a month. If you'd like to learn it, you can email me if you want to sign up. It's a two-day class. It costs uh, six grand, and you would learn my method of how I called all of these options trades that we're going to go over, okay? So Apple was... Tuesday, Tuesday morning, okay, it was after the open, 10.15 in the morning, I called the Apple puts 177.50 out for June 7th, and you could still be in these. Now let's look at this trade here, or the, the chart, I'm sorry. Um, so here was the Apple, and then boom, gap down here followed through into itself. Okay, so you see here, I know this is small, but I wanted to show how this fell through the strike, okay, right after I called it. So cost $3, contracts 20, six grand risk, which is an advanced trader risk, sold at 420, profit 2400. Now again, you could still be in this trade, all right? Or you could have held it even longer. I'm gonna go back here into um, the end of the week, okay? Because Apple uh, actually fell into the close on Friday as well. Then the next one was a SPY. Same day on the Tuesday, 282, 531. This was a Friday expiration. But again, call this on the 28th. See how this moved, dropped on the live day. Also followed through here too. Uh, some people got out of this this day, but actually if you held this down into Friday, which was the last day, which is, which is you know, I mean, I, I don't advise necessarily holding every trade into the last day, but if it's through the strike or it, it's weak, um, if you're in a put or if it's strong, if you're in a call, I mean, you could do that or you could get out of half and hold half. Anyways, this had a nice drop the day that I called it. 175 for the contracts, 35, risk 6125, sold 420, 8,575, really nice move there, that's the SPY. Next one's at the diamonds, this is the Dow ETF, 255, again out from Friday, called this on Tuesday as well, this was on Tuesday afternoon. Again, here is the move, beautiful sell-off, look at that. And this is, you know, again, <laughs> I mean, if you held this here, through the following day, beautiful. If you held it down past, I don't know where the low was Friday, but it broke 251, broke 249. Um, and again, you know, this was $6 through the strike into the end of the week. A really, really nice call. Uh, dollar 75 cost, contracts 35, risk 61.25. Your risk should be consistent in every trade you take, whether it's a swing trade, day trade, option, it should be consistent across the board or close to it. Sale price 460, profit 9,975. The Dow's just been weak. Um, again, all these are puts. QQQ puts 177. This was from last Friday. This was Tuesday in the afternoon. Again, I'm just, I've 
been calling these trades like hotcakes this past week, but they were there. Here's the drop off, drop off, boom, okay? All of this in here, beautiful sell off, another nice move. Again, strike was 177, you see where it went. Cost of this was good, 80 cents, 80 contracts, risk 6,400, sold 230, profit 12,000. Again, this is just in one week, okay? And even if, if you can't afford 6,000 to trade, 3,000, or divide it by, divide it by six, 1,000. Uh, the diamonds then called again on the following day, on the Wednesday, again, you could still be in this. This fell through the strike two, six, seven, but you could have been out. Again, the move, here it goes, boom, drop, fall, boom. But again, you could take it on the day, you could take it and get out of the day. Cost 220, sold three, contracts 30, 6,600, profit 2,400. So let me get back to this chart. You can do options as day trades, or you can hold them. And in this case here, either way, if you did it like this, fine. If you held it, fine. You know, there's no bad exit unless you completely miss the directional move altogether and you miss the profit and it reverses. But that, you know, that didn't happen in these. So nice move in that. Again, the SPY, reading the market extremely well. Uh, that's why all these trades work. Uh, May 29th, again, right into the open. 278, you could still be in this too. So here we are, 29th dropped again you could still be in this six seven is the expiration or you take the profit cost you 25 sold 360 profit 4050 contracts 30 beautiful beautiful another sell-off ba puts 350 strike this expired friday so that was on wednesday i think yeah wednesday here it is here's the sell-off boop but again if you held this in here look where it went but again Look at this. So this is the day that I called it. Drop like a brick. Look at the follow through here. Co cost 280, risk 7,000, sold five. This is a nice move. Profit 5,525 contracts. That stock's definitely lower. The way that that chart looks there and did the close too. Uh, May 29th, 175. Q's again. Uh, just again, trade, trade, trade. Followed through here, dropped, boom, okay? Dollar fifty, forty contracts, six grand, sold two fifty, boom. Nothing wrong with making a dollar. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever at all. Okay. Again, these are nice trades. Google eleven twenty strike. Google can sometimes be expensive if you call it out long. Here's the drop off in this. Boom. Again, really nice move. Fell gapped down into itself, and I. These trades this week were so phenomenal because I called these trades and then they would follow through in the gap down in the morning. And how I saw that, I was just rating the gaps. I mean, it was rating the gaps all along the way. I mean, every morning it was like getting up and seeing these trades be up. It was just a really amazing week. And I called it, just called it, called it, called it. Uh, cost 550 in these, 12 contracts was 6,600. Sold 15, again, really nice move. 11,400 in Google, and this stock can rock and roll. So uh, that's why it costs like that. Netflix, 350 puts. Again, you could still be in this. Here's the chart of Netflix. Boop, following through. 525 cost, 12 contracts, 67.50. Sold 820, 35.40. Beautiful sell off in the Netflix, too. Again, more puts. Amazon puts 1,800, 531. Here's the drop. Fell down again. Look at this move in here. Sold off this day, sold off this day, sold off this day. Again, no bad exit in this Amazon. Had it had the sell off. If you bought it, you paid seven, which is not cheap. Okay, you could have got one for seven hundred dollars. Ten for seven thousand, sold twelve. Again, five grand risking seven is a good profit. That's a solid profit. And something like Amazon, you look at this, you say, well, these bars aren't that megalodon huge, and yet you can make that kind of money. And that's how that stock is. And when that stock really gets going, I mean, you could just be just thousands and thousands and thousands. Uh, but in this market, in this environment, in this volatility, I think it's good to book your profits. Again, Google, 1097.50, you could still be in this too. Again, here's the drop. Cost seven, contracts 10, risk 7,000, sold 1250, 5,500 profit. Alta, this one did not work out. 310 dropped in the morning, and I just didn't have any conviction this would follow through lower next week if it didn't on Friday, which it, which it didn't. 
So it dropped here, and then that was it. So this was a loser, and if you took it, you, you could have killed it at some point. You could have killed and killed it right away at half loss. But anyways, if you got out of it, sold one, lost, lost in that 5,000. Cost 235.67. Uh, let's go look at this one here. This one worked, and this worked in the morning, and you take the profits and you get out. And this you could still be in, because if the market's lower this coming week, this is lower too. But again, these fast trades, this was an earnings gap. I think it's good to do some of these as day trades. Cost 350, sold 490, profit 2800, 20 contracts, risk 7000. So, again, here's all the trades from last week Apple Spy, Diamonds Qs, Diamond Spy, Boeing, QQQs, Google, Netflix, Amazon, Google again, Alta was the only loser and cost. So, 13 winners, one loser. Win ratio for the week was 93%. Average risk per trade is six grand because some were a little bit more and some were a little bit less. Total amount money risked all together for the whole week in each of these, even though all these trades weren't on at once, as you understand that. 91,350, total profit 72,140. So the return on investment for one week was 79%. And that's extremely high, and that is a great win ratio, and that is a great return on investment, and that is an amazing amount of profit. And the way that I call these trades, that they were gapping down and following through in the morning was phenomenal, and I have been so focused. And really, all these trades worked, except for the one in Alta, because of the way that I've been calling the market. I've been seeing when the market's going to rally, and I've been seeing when the market's going to fall. And that's why these trades work. So everyone in the letter is up. Everyone in the, in the letter is up. Some people have doubled and tripled and quadrupled their accounts. So I'm very proud of the people that are in the letter following the trades. Not everyone's doing all the trades. I know you have to have the money to take all the trades. And some days I'm calling, you know, two, three, four, five in one day. If you can't take all the trades in one day at one time, okay, then do the ones that you can do. If you can only do one a day, do one a day. If you do two a day, do two a day. But it really has to do with my ability to read price, which has to do with my gap rating system, which is what I use. And that's what you learn in the Golden Gap course. It's quality trades, quality, quality, quality. That's how you get a high win ratio of 93%. Some of the trades are called in the morning, some are called in the afternoon, but I do think it's important for you to be available in the morning in case they do gap into themselves like I showed you there from those charts. 